I should explain that burst. Right, religion is what we had, and then science appeared. Science came along, and as science got bigger, religion started to fade away, and eventually there will be, science will start to fade away as the, the next step of evolution exists and, and takes over, and science will fade away, and, and the ideas of science, we will see past it. And that's kind of what I'm doing, is going beyond it. That's quantum physics, extra dimensional theory. And I theorize that the fifth dimension is a dimension of mass thought. Although for some reason, I keep feeling like it's the sixth dimension. It's just what my body is telling me that it is the sixth dimension is a dimension of mass thought where all the thought exists with gravity and we age there is time we age is a is an illusion of gravity when gravity it's gravity pulling on the things there is time in the sixth dimension if i'm why am i saying this is the sixth dimension okay right now i'm not going to specify which dimension it is just something bigger. There must be something else going on in the fifth dimension. A conglomeration of experience, a, a, a doorway. In the sixth dimension, there is time. Time exists and flows throughout. Time is relative to gravity. So, because time is a perceivable experience through gravity. Things rotating around, people dying, aging, all these things that seem like time is gravity that exists in this dimension, pulling things. And in the other dimension, there is a little bit of gravity. The thought and the gravity exist, and there is time. And we spiritually affect time in the sixth dimension. With our thoughts, we affect time. We affect the gravity, which is connected to the gravity of this dimension. It's all, the gravity flows throughout. And in the, in the sixth dimension, our, our experience, our thought, set, sends through the fifth dimensional doorway, perhaps, into this dimension and affects the time here, perceivable time. Perception is truth in the sixth dimension. But in this dimension, this dimensional experience, it is the accumulated perception that is truth. The, the human perception, the group, whatever the people think and believe at the time is real. So we come to agreement. It's important not to isolate and spend too much time in other dimension, in other perception of experience. It's best to stay grounded. That's what people mean when they say stay grounded, literally stay in the, this dimension to explore because it is the most effective way. I hope that explained it a little bit more.